But since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes. Hi guys, welcome back to another beer review. Tonight we are checking out another beer from the amazing beer mail package that my buddy Nathan sent. This is Mercenary from Odell Brewing. Uh, they are out of Fort Collins, Colorado. And that's surprising to me because I cannot get this beer out here. And Colorado is not that far, so I don't know what their distribution is like, but I've never seen Odell in uh, San Diego before. I actually had never heard of Odell, if I'm being completely honest with you, before I got this beer. And after uh, after Nathan sent it, I started reading about them, and apparently people really, really like their beer. That's another cool bottle cap. Focus. Whatever. Um, yeah, this is a uh, this is a double IPA or an Imperial India Pale Ale, and it is 9.3% alcohol by volume. So this shit will get you where you need to go quickly. I'm assuming. Um, yeah, I've I've just I've read that uh, that people like this beer, and I'm looking forward to trying it. Another uh, another IPA for me, and I'm a total IPA person. So um, I'm not gonna waste any time flapping my gums. There is. There's a date on here. It says uh, January 27th, 15th. So they, they put like a Best Buy date on it instead of a bottled on date. But yeah, um, I'm looking forward to this. I love trying new beers from new breweries. Nice hiss on that bottle. I'm trying to get this off so I can keep this bottle cap. That's perfect. There we go. Oh, nope. No. Wow, I can smell that already. It smells great. But yeah, I like uh, I like trying beers from new breweries that I've never heard of. We did not give that a very aggressive pour, and it poured a freaking awesome, about a finger and a half ahead. That uh, again, I don't know if that's chill haze. That's a, uh, it's not clear. It's a hazy, dark orange, kind of a tangerine color. It looks freaking awesome in the glass. An off-white head, like I said, I don't know, it was about a finger and a half. It's already starting to dissipate, dissipate a little bit. I mean, 9.3%. I don't know how long uh, this head's going to stick around. Great carbonation, though. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but a um, bunch, of, bunch of little bubbles streaming up to the top of the glass. Big soapy bubbles in the middle. Um, but yeah, it looks really, really good and exactly what a, uh, a double IPA should look like. The aroma. That's uh, it's a very... Interesting smelling beer. There's definite sweetness. Um, I don't know if that's from the high alcohol by volume content or whatever, ABV content, is that right? But lots of citrus, uh, grapefruit, oranges. Um, there, there's, there's sweet fruit in there too, maybe like peaches, apples maybe, I can't tell. But definite sweet malts. Um, it's very sweet smelling. But 9.3%, you don't get any alcohol on the nose on that. I'm wondering if this is going to be malty. There's, it's not like it's, it's not really crazy hoppy smelling. Definite big citrus, um, and then like that sweet malty breadiness. It smells great, so I'm looking forward to this. So Nathan, cheers. Hmm. That's actually got some like uh, it's got some crazy bitterness up front, um, but it's it's definitely sweet at the front of the tongue. Like like I said, like peaches or apples, um, and then middle of the mouth you get a little bit of citrus, grapefruit, um, grapefruit peel, and then that bitterness kind of just hangs on. From the nose of that, that took me completely by surprise. Because it doesn't, the taste definitely d does not follow the nose on this one. It almost has like a sour kind of funky taste to it, which is weird. This is <laughs> this beer tripping me out. Yeah, lots of bitterness, and then there's it's like it's really sweet. Now that I just took another drink of it. It's like sweet middle of the mouth. This reminds me of. Uh, <clears throat> I drank, um, it was from Fathead. It was their uh, hop, I think it was Hop Juju Imperial IPA. It reminds me a lot of that. 
This is definitely uh, like an East Coast kind of a IPA. I don't know how I feel about this right now because it's, I don't know, it's just, it's messing with me the way that the, <laughs> the nose of that beer was and then the taste. There's lots of bitterness there, but it's not hoppy. It's like sweet bitterness. Hmm. I mean, it's, it's definitely a, a good beer. Um, I mean, 9.3%. I don't know if that's sweet, like, booziness that I'm tasting. It doesn't taste boozy, though. It's just like a sweet, kind of malty double IPA. It's not as citrusy tasting as the nose was. It's strange. The lacing on that is great, though. There's alcohol leaks for sure, too. That's a well-made beer. I, I really... I, it's weird. I don't know how I feel about this. I like it. Is it, like, blowing me away? No. Um, are there other beers I would drink before this? Yes. But it's good. I'm going to give it a... Uh, I'll give it a solid B. It's funny, because, like, all the, uh, all the other stuff I'd read about it, like, people were like, it's crazy citrus, lots of citrus. I'm not getting citrus at all. I'm getting, like, really sweet, bitter, like, maltiness. It's, I mean, the bottle's fine, though. It says Best by January 27th. I don't know. I'm not getting, like, that big citrus bomb that I was expecting from everything that I read. It's a good beer, though. I mean, 9.3%, you can't drink a lot of these. Maybe that's what that is. Maybe that's booze. I'm not sure. That's a good beer, though. I want to try some more beers from Odell. For sure. I'm going to let this warm up, too. I'm sure it'll change as it gets warmer. But yeah, I'm not getting a ton of citrus on that. and It's it's just weird, because I had read that it was very, very citrusy. and I'm not getting that. Unless this is a bad bottle. I'm not getting that at all. It's bittersweet. But it's good. I'm going to give that one a solid B. I mean, I would drink it again. And I like the label. I don't know what those dudes are doing. That's cool. So, that's it for this one. I'm going to wrap it up. Nathan, thank you so much for sending this to me. Enjoyed uh, trying another new beer. I don't know why Odell doesn't ship to California. They're only in Colorado. But if you've had Mercenary, let me know what you think. Maybe this is a bad bottle. Maybe it's, I don't know. Maybe it's not supposed to taste the way that it's tasting to me. But I don't know. It's the way it goes. So. As always, thank you for the likes. Thank you for sharing these videos. Thank you for subscribing. We're almost to 600 subscribers. It's kind of going quick. People are subscribing left and right. So um, I think that people sharing these videos has, has really helped me out. So I really, really appreciate you guys doing it. So uh, until next time, I will see you guys later. Cheers. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't.